Hey, what's going on guys? If you're building a mobile menu inside of Webflow and you see a scroll bar when you open your menu, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. To illustrate how to fix that, I created a little project to show you how this works. So essentially, I have the mobile navigation right here with the logo and the hamburger. And then inside the page, I have three different sections, a blue section, a green section, and a red section. And also, I have a menu that when you click on the hamburger, you will see like this. So you would see a very basic menu open. And if I check to see how this works, as I click on the hamburger, I click on there, the mobile menu appears. But the problem is, is that there is a scroll bar and I want to get rid of this. So how do you do that? Natively in Webflow is not possible. So you have to add a bit of custom code to make this work. To make this work, what you're going to do is you're going to go to W, then you're going to go to project settings. Next, you're going to go to custom code. And in the head code, you're going to copy and paste the code that I'm going to share with you in the description below. So in the head code, you're going to copy this first part of the code and you're going to paste that here. And in the footer code, you're going to copy the second part of the script. You're going to copy that and you're going to paste that here. So how the script work is that when I click on the CSS class hamburger, the body is going to have a class called no scroll. And the no scroll class is this one that we just created above, which means that it's going to create an overflow hidden. So it's going to remove the ability to scroll up and down. The second part of the script says that if I click on the hamburger close class, it's going to remove the class no scroll from the body. So to make this work in your own project, you have to change two things in the script, this class and this other class. So this class is the um, class that you use to open up the menu. So if I go back to my project, for instance, so what I want is that when I click on this box, I want the menu to appear and I don't want a scroll bar. So what I need is I need to take the class here. So my class here is hamburger, but if I was to change it to hamburger, dash open, I would take this class and I would go to the script and I would change that. And I would change that from hamburger to hamburger open and make sure that you have this dot in front of it. This is important. Otherwise it's not going to work. So the first part is done. The second part is when I close the menu, I want to remove the class with the overflow hidden. So what I need to do is I will go back to project. I will look for the close button. This is this one. I will copy exactly this class, copy that, and I will paste it here again with the dot before it. And then I simply save the changes and I publish to selected domain. And let's see what happens. If we now take a look at the menu, so I'm going to click on open, click on open. And now I try to scroll and now you can see that the scroll bar isn't there anymore. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please click the thumbs up below. And if you would like to see more Webflow videos in the future, you can subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos every single week. In the meantime, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.